Hello everyone, this is Dr. Meer Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to solve October 2022 University Question Paper of International Finance. Okay, now uh, I've already solved two question papers that was of April 2019 and October 2019. So in this uh, video, basically, I've already solved the paper and I will be explaining you all Okay, rather than actually solving and showing you, I've already solved the paper. So the previous two paper I have solved and you know made a video, but this is already solved. So I'll be explaining how I solved that paper. Okay, so let us see one by one. The first question was uh, question number two P, where it was given that the following quote is in is given in Mumbai. That is one USD is equal to INR. 69.1325 and 69.1425 is it a direct quote in india that was the very first question so now again the rule is whichever country may uh, one is given that is a foreign currency so the opposite of that will become a home currency so therefore it is a direct quote in india is, is it a direct quote yes it is a direct quote so my first answer will be See, uh, one USD to one INR, you know, the spot and the ask rate, bid and the ask rate is given. According to the rule, the one is your foreign and this will become your home currency. So, this is like your foreign currency. This is your home currency. So, since it is a home currency, yes, it is a direct quote in India as foreign currency is expressed in one unit. Second, you need to find the mid rate, spread and spread person. Okay. So, your mid rate ka formula was ask plus bid divided by two. So, ask rate was here bid rate is here we added up divided by 2 and we should have got the answer as 69.1375 okay for finding the spread the formula was spread is equal to ask minus bid rate again ask rate is given bid rate is also given okay you just have to you know subtract it and get the answer uh, so this is actually a minus sign not a plus sign Okay, so you should have got the answer as 0 0.01 and you can even add two more zeros after that, okay? Now the same thing, uh, you have to find the spread person, the third thing. So spread person was spread upon the ask into 100. So the spread is also 0 0.0100 upon 69, that is your ask is 69.1425 into 100. Okay, so you divide, multiply, you will get the spread person okay similar all in the previous two papers also similar sums are there okay and the last is calculate the inverse quote inverse is opposite so if, if i need to find the bid it will be one upon ask and if i want to find ask it will be one upon bid okay so bid is one upon ask again ask rate and bid rate both are given in the question so you just have to apply the reciprocal one upon one upon and whatever answer you will get will be your final inverse quote okay so this was question number uh, 2p now the next one was uh, question number 2q the following quotations are available in usa one usd to gbp and one usd to scad so it is usd to gbp and usd to cad and they're giving you something of toronto from the given quotes in usa derive quotation for one gbp in terms of cad so now you have to find your gbp to cad which is basically an inverse ratio Okay, so one USD to GBP is given and one USD to CAD is given and they are asking us to find basically GBP to CAD. Okay, so now it is, you'll have to find the cross rate of this uh, and uh, you know, based on the cross rate, something else we'll have to find later on. Okay, so GBP to CAD for the cross rate, it will be GBP. Again, first you write GBP, which is the starting CAD, which is the last and you multiply with the commons that is USD. So GBP to USD, now here is given USD to GBP and they are asking us to find GBP to USD, so it will become inverse. If it is inverse, it will become 1 upon ask and USD to CAD is in the same direction, so we will take directly as the bid. So 1 upon ask into 1 upon uh, into the bid, okay, so you divide, you multiply, whatever answer you get will be your bid rate. Similarly, we need to even find GBP to CAD the ask rate. Okay, again, same order. First, you put GBP at the start, CAD at the end. You multiply with the common. GBP to CAD is a, a, a to USD is in the opposite direction, so it will become 1 upon bid. So, USD to CAD is in the same direction, so it will be directly asked. You divide, you multiply, you multiply, and you will get your final answer. Okay, so GBP to CAD, bid and ask is done. 
next they are asked us in the question compare the derived quotation uh, with the quotation available in torrento to torrento me they are giving you gbp to cad so i'm going to compare what we have found with the rate given and try if there is check if there is any arbitrage opportunity okay so now okay gbp to cad okay is there and this is the given okay this is what we have found this was something that we had actually found so i'll write here f and this is something which is already given given g okay now once you have noted down those check for the lowest value the lowest is 4118 that will become b1 okay this will become b2 so this will be a1 a2 we put it in the number line the lowest value was b1 then it is a1 then b2 and a2 now the rule is if b2 comes in between a1 and b1 then there is no arbitrary opportunity but here there is an arbitrary gain or an opportunity at b2 is does not lie between b1 and a1 okay and then we apply the formula of arbitrage gain which is b2 upon a1 minus 1 into 10 into 1 million which is 10 lakhs so b2 i got the value of b2 from here a1 is here okay we divided minus with 1 into 10 lakh okay whatever answer will be that will be your final answer so there is an arbitrage gain of 27015.74 for 1 million okay so that was the second question okay 2q I hope everyone have understood that. Now we jump to the next. Again, similar sum was there in the previous papers also. Okay. Now next question number three P. They are given you the spot rate USD to CHF. They are given you one month forward, three months, and six months. Bid is smaller than ask, so it is all premium. So these are all premium forward premium points. They are asking us to find one month forward, three months forward, and six months forward rate USD to CHF. So it's in the same direction. So first rule is very simple. First we note down the spot value, and we are going to add one month forward. So that will be 0.0025, 0.0075. We add up and we will get a one month forward rate. Similarly, for three months we will take the spot and add the three months uh, forward points. So we add the spot rate, we add three months forward rate, we add up and we get the three months forward. Similarly, for six months, it will be spot plus six month forward point. We add it up, and we will get our final six month forward rate. Okay, in the simplest way. So, so again, I'll just go one month. We add the one month point. Okay, for three months, we add the three months point, and for six months, we will add the six months cup point, and we will get the final answer. That's as simple as that. Okay, this was three P. Next was three Q. They are giving you the spot rate. They are giving you the forward rate, and they are asking us to find the AFM for three months. So again, very simple. Analyze forward margin. The formula is you know forward minus spot upon spot into 12 divided by n number of months into 100. The spot was 68.2550. Forward is 69. Point, uh, this was 69. Okay, so 660. It is 69.1. So we just applied the formula forward minus spot upon spot into 12 divided by 3 because 3 months forward into 100 so you minus you divide you multiply divide and then you multiply with 100 and you will get your final answer that is nothing but a afm interpret meaning since the afm is positive okay so the base currency is in premium basically this was question number 3 q i hope everyone have understood till here the next question For P, okay, they are giving you the spot rate. They are giving you two interest rate. If two interest rates are given, remember it will be based on Fisher's effect. Okay, so one uh, euro is equal to USD one two two five given. So euro and USD, me euro will be your foreign currency ka interest rate, and USD is your home currency. Okay, one will be known as IF, the other one is known as IH, and we need to find the three months forward rate. Okay, so for this. Okay, the formula of Fisher effect. Okay, the Fisher's effect ka formula is forward upon spot is equal to HI upon FI, where HI and FI we need to first find. See, spot rate is already given. We need to find the forward, so I need HI and FI. So first we'll find HI. HI is one plus you know IH into M upon twelve. IH is the interest rate of our home currency, which is USD. That is zero point seven five. Okay, into three divided by twelve. Okay. Similarly, for FI, 
it will be 1 plus if into m divided by 12 where our interest is 1.20 into 3 divided by 12 once we get our hi and our fi now we can apply it into a fisher's effect formula that was f f upon s is equal uh, you know is equal to hi upon fi okay so we should get the value as you know f we want to find spot rate is already given hi and fi we already found so we just cross multiply keep the f here 1.2250 into 1.1875 divided by 13 okay you will get the answer as 1.1189 that is nothing but a three month forward euro usd is 1.1189 okay so this is how you all had to solve the sum based on you know fisher's method because the two interests were given okay now after this uh, the next one was uh, you know based on from the following data find the best alternative for borrowing now this sum is based on borrowing so borrowing ke liye we have to note down the net liability ka formula so net liability when borrowing ka formula is borrowing upon spot into 1 plus the interest upon 100 into period upon 12 into forward rate minus the borrowing amount we are giving you usd euro and gbp so for USD, it will be and uh, they want 10 million, so that's one crore for three months. So one crore upon the spot rate, which was 67, into one plus the rate 4 percent, three because three months is given upon 12 into the forward rate, whatever answer you get. So you divide, you start always on this side. Three divided by 12, okay, into four divided by 100 plus one, whatever you get, you multiply with the forward divide by the spot and then you multiply with the amount whatever answer you get minus with the final uh, borrowing amount and you should get one value so for usd we got 119561 similarly for euro okay the formula will remain same so it will be 1 crore upon the spot rate is 4.50 month is again 3 months forward is 81.1850 Again, we apply into the formula, we solve it, and we should get the amount as 113746. And lastly, for GBP, also we'll have to do the same thing. So, spot is given, forward is given, and the interest rate is given. We apply into the formula, okay, subtract, multiply, divide, and then you have to get your final, uh, you know, subtract with the final amount. You should get 125562. Now, when you compare all three amounts, okay, now see the first amount was. 119000 approx second one was 113000 and third one is 125000 so from this the second value was the lowest that is of euro so we write finally borrowing will be done in euro since the liability is the lowest okay so this is how you all have to solve the sum based on this borrowing part now next okay we have uh, mr shahid kapoor is planning to buy a machine which would uh, generate cash flow uh, in USD is as follows uh, the years are given the cash flows are given okay the, the negative meaning this is the investment one two three four four years per data is given discounting factors are given to us so our column will be year one two three four cash inflow will be twelve thousand sixteen thirty sixteen PV factor is already given to us you multiply them we will get a PV we add up the PV that is again okay, we'll get the total PV or total cash inflow in order to find NPV it will be cash inflow minus outflow so 57582 minus 50,000 7582 will be our NPV okay so basically this was the last sum of the question paper of October 2022 okay so I hope everyone have understood it you all can go through the format you can go through the states okay the name the, the answer which I have found out the steps if you want to learn the steps in much more detail, uh, you all can go through the previous two question papers which I have actually solved. This is already solved and I have just, you know, explained to you how I solved. But the actual solving was done of 2019. But this will give you, you know, once if you are done with those papers, this paper you all can easily solve. Okay. Chalo. With that, uh, we will be ending this video. I hope everyone have understood. Thank you.